I would say March 13th was the day everything hit the fan. It was pretty scary because that, you know, was the last official day we were at work with our staff. And that was also the day I launched detergent, which I had been working on for two years. Dead Cool is a 100% unisex, non-toxic, vegan fragrance company. I started in 2016. We make fragrances and we have chapstick offerings, which is my version of a chapstick. We just newly launched detergent, which is a fun twist on fragrance and how you wear day to day. We have massage candles, the whole thing. Dead Cool is all about creating innovation, different way of understanding fragrance, and of course, having to do with green beauty and sustainability. It's been tricky in general with the whole retail apocalypse. You're seeing more and more stores closing. Our distribution was put on hold. People were definitely refraining from purchasing. Um, as a small business, I rely on, you know, every and any order. I saw a shift in our e -com, which is a very strong part of our business, which, you know, is fine. We just have to make sure we're able to pay our staff. We haven't let anyone go. For the detergent, we had a launch party planned a 17th of March. And of course we had to cancel that. So the whole concept was tie-dye tea. Everyone would be gifted a t-shirt, it had non-toxic dye, and then everyone would go home with their dead cool t-shirts. So I spent probably the first week of quarantine hand dyeing all of the shirts and then making them available on my website. And then 50% of those proceeds were going to the CDC. So that was definitely a big push and kind of our first way of, you know, opening up this idea of we are supporting our consumers. Detergent launch at the perfect time because everyone's at home and needing to do laundry. What else are you gonna do other than work, cook and clean? Today we launched our rinse-free wash which is our hand sanitizer because of a scarcity of sanitizer and that's something so easy for us to create. 50% of those proceeds we will go to Meals on Wheels America. I didn't expect to see so many orders and I'm getting so much feedback. People are buying like multiple at a time because they want to give to their friends or their neighbor or their community and I really think that is like the best thing. I do have really loyal customers and they love my brand. They see value and quality in the product. The biggest hit is really the retail. Other than that, our e-com is really strong. There was a time where I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna hit this year's goal because X, Y, and Z, but at the same time, it's not even about that anymore. It's just about, you know, staying afloat. At this time, we have taken a step back in terms of publicity and PR, just because I don't feel it's appropriate to promote product at a time like this when we are really focusing on how to rebuild society as a whole. So there is an end point to all this. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, we're all in this together. I think I've seen a huge, huge response and community. People are really working together for the first time I've ever experienced and you know, it doesn't even matter what political party or who you are, where you live, whatever it is, we're all in this.